All right, so we're gonna try this again. And this time we're gonna go right on the bus at a little bit bigger of a substation. Quite a bit more amperage. I think we're gonna upwards of 300 amps per phase. What's up guys and girls, you're watching Bob's Decline Lineman Blogger where we talk about anything and everything that has to do with power lines and being a lineman. So for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Aaron. I've been a lineman on the east coast of Canada for about 19 years now. So today we're going to be taking a look at a new product called the Troubleman's Kit by Centerlink. But before we get into it, a few things I wanted to mention for those of you that have been watching for a while now may have seen in the past where I used a multimeter to check amperage on high voltage lines. So in the last video or not my last video a few months ago there was one individual in particular that messaged me mentioning he had a product that he felt might be more suitable for my needs as a troubleman that responds to trouble on voltages of any kind. This isn't a paid ad, not sponsored. In any way shape or form they simply said we have a really great product and we'd like for you guys to try it all right so before we get into actually trying the product let's take a look at what's in the box all right this 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 isn't working guys let's head inside for a minute and uh see what we got So the first item in the Troubleman's kit is the amp stick, radio translated amp stick. It's good for high voltage rated up to 69,000 kV and 1 to 5,000 amp auto ranging. Very cool. What are you getting there? Uh, 301. The next item in the kit is the volt stick so traditionally what we'd used on our trucks for high voltage testing would have been phasing sticks this one here is more like a high voltage voltmeter it actually tells you the voltage rate down to the volt on up to 37,000 volts pretty well the rest of the kit here has to do with the volt stick this guy here is our transmitter that's what gives you your readings on both the amp stick and the volt stick this other item here is, it's an auto clamp that uh, is used for either the ground or the other phase. So essentially that's on the end of your hot stick. You're bringing this guy up to one of the phases. You push that along the wire and this is probably gonna hurt. Oh, there we go. And then you simply release that off the wire, checking phasing against your other phases. Uh, if you are going phase to ground, this guy is gonna go on the ground side, obviously as this remains in your hot stick. And then once you're ready to remove, simply insert your hot stick and pull her off. adapters that weren't initially part of the kit that are designed for underground. You can plug that right into your pad mount just like it's a, a termination, just like it's a 7200 volt elbow. Plug that in. Then we have an adapter that fits onto this guy. That threads through there just like it did before. Clip that in the ground, give it a twist, remove, and then start checking each phase. This stuff that's plugging into 
high voltage. Just, you, you're working with equipment that's designed for 37,000 volts, which is extremely dangerous. So I was sure to get documents, or I should say they were sure to send it. And this is really cool. I was impressed by this. We've got all kinds of paperwork and documentation here. There's even more, all kinds of stuff. Quality assurance certification, it's hand signed. All right, so let's head out to the field guys and uh, see how this thing works. So we are inside one of our rural substations right now, which is gonna be a great place to test out the radio transmitted, radio transmitter Amstick. Here's our substation, 69,000 volts coming down to 12,470. That's 7,200 volts face to ground. And just before it leaves the sub, we got this octopus looking thing, which is basically PTs and CTs that bring the voltage and current down to a manageable level for our metering equipment. So we can get an accurate reading as to what the, uh, what the power usage is in the sub, more specifically the exact voltage and amperage. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that amp stick, shove it up into the three phase, get a reading of the amperage on the lines and cross-reference that with what's in the box. You can see here, there's a couple of lines on the forks. And as long as that wire is below those lines, it doesn't matter if it's perpendicular or not. Apparently some of them out there, if it's not perfectly perpendicular, it will give you a slightly off reading. So we've got our amp stick on our telescopic stick and our wireless sensor link transmitter which if you want you can strap it to the stick itself probably more like this and see your reading i'd only do that if i was using a six or eight foot stick up in the bucket we're going to keep this thing on the ground with us and one push it's flashing led flashes when powering on so far so good now we have got our Remote receiver, held, erase, amperage. Let's let go right there, see what happens. All right, looks like we're ready to go. One thing I just thought of, guys, when you're using your hot stick, I did mention in a telescopic stick video, this top section is the only portion that's actually tested. I mean, the rest, the rest is fiberglass, it's non-conductive, but it's only the top portion that's actually tested at our standard 100, 100,000 volts per foot. This unit as a whole must be isolated on a tested stick as it's being used. So you can't stick this up in the primary and have say this part here leaning against a cross arm while the phase is up in the jaws up here. We're gonna go on the road phase and now we're at 17 amps. Still can't see what's going on here. I picked a horrible substation to try this at. This is much better. We've got here an average of about 250 amps. Uh, that's coming out of the power transformer. Now that's off of two separate reclosers. So we'll get the exact amperage on one of these reclosures. So these are our two reclosures over here. So we're gonna grab the amperage right off those riser cables there for recloser number two. So apparently that didn't work. Uh, no signal. So I'm guessing that's for a few reasons. One, we're in a uh, large steel building. And two, it was in the other end of the yard. I did remember reading there was a range. I'll have to check that again. I'll, uh, I'll write that into the bottom of the screen if I can figure out what the range is on this thing. All right, so we're gonna try this again. Um, this time we're gonna go right on the bus at a little bit bigger of a substation. Quite a bit more amperage. I think we're going to upwards of 300 amps per phase. And we're going to see what we can't get for a reading right up there on the. Looks like 
750 MCM copper. Yeah. 303. Yeah. 283. Pretty well lined up. Yeah. On pretty much spot on. So I've been using this the most out of the kit. This is the one tool that myself as a troubleman that travels solo 80% of the time, uh, I'll use the most. Some of the places I can see this, uh, we do load balancing uh, a couple times a year, uh, coming into the winter time or if there's a lot of new construction in the area. And when we do load balancing, I got to set up my truck, go up in the air and use that clamp on ammeter to get the amperage on each phase. Since getting the amp stick, I actually went to some of the same locations, put it on the telescopic stick and did amp checks right from the ground. And it was so easy. I was actually at first a little concerned about the size. This, it's, this thing's not small. Look at it compared to the size of my hand. But like any job when working with the extendo stick, you try to keep the weight centered above the stick, slightly off to either side, and uh, no trouble at all. This thing, the weight was not an issue. In fact, I wouldn't want it to be any smaller because as you're guiding the wire through the jaws, if it was too small, you'd have more trouble lining that stuff up. So one area that this is gonna work great for me is I get a lot of back lot construction. And in order to open those cutouts, I gotta use a load buster. Climbing a pole with a load buster, easily doable, but definitely not um, my first choice in an opener to switch. We're trying to get a lot of those changed out with load break cutouts. But now where this thing is gonna come in handy is I can put that on the extendo stick, stick that up into the single phase, take a reading. A lot of times there's only six or eight amps on those sidelines, and there's really no other way to tell. So if there's only six or eight amps, I can take that extendo stick, yank that cutout open, and be following all my procedures. Our procedure states that uh, we're not to open a cutout without load break of some sort if there's more than 10 amps on the 7200 volt system. So radio amp stick by Sensorlink. I've had uh, lots of opportunity to use it already. Really great product, I highly recommend it. Now let's take a look at some of the other products in the Troubleman's kit. So I say some of the other products, but really the Troubleman's kit consists of two things. The amp stick and the volt stick. Now there's a lot of accessories that go along, mostly with the volt stick. So we're gonna take a look at that next. It's uh, <laughs> it's mid April by the way, and we're getting a freak snowstorm. But uh, this is a radial line, single phase, nothing too crazy. But there is a high line going over top of it. We got a 69,000 volt high line, about five span down the road going right over top of this feed. It's only like, maybe 10, 12 feet above this feeder. So there's gonna be some induction or capacitive coupling in this, in this primary line that's isolated. With that high line over top, when we check potential with our potential indicator, again, it doesn't specify how much voltage, it just indicates whether there is or isn't potential. You can easily get false readings on lines near, like if you're near a substation, high voltage lines. This is the unit here, here all rug up. This is the portion that goes on the primary side. This is gonna go on the neutral. This is our wireless reader. All right, so we tried this thing out while in really horrible conditions. It was super windy and cold. The auto clamp worked pretty good. It was fairly easy to use. It's got that huge cone around, so it's, it's fairly easy to hit the bullseye and pull that off. Probably the only downfall for the auto clamp would be is uh, you're not gonna be able to use it on 
a lead, like a, a loosely hung lead going into a voltage regulator or an OR or something, you're generally going to be clamping that onto the wire when it's close to a pin or something where the wire is secure. Not so much as for putting it on, but when you pull it off, it does take a fair amount of tension to pop that off the wire. So you're not going to want to do that on a lead that you're going to rip it out of the uh, rip it out of a bushing or, or make them flop around all over the place. The great part is is the hook on the end. Um, you can simply use another hook on the end of that red wire and do the exact same thing. You don't have to use the auto clamp, or you can go on by hand. There's nothing wrong with putting the auto clamp on by hand if you're checking the phase against a grounded wire or a neutral, providing you follow all your company regulations, all your work methods, and you're wearing the appropriate rubber gloves. The volt stick can be used on both low voltage and primary voltage up to 37 kilovolts and still be accurate within one volt. We're gonna try a few of the other attachments. We've got the underground attachment. I'm gonna go through that and the pad mount. We're gonna be trying that out. All right, so that worked great guys. When I first opened the box, I had to scratch my head for a minute to kind of figure out what each piece did and how it went together. Now that I know how to operate everything, it's super simple, super easy to use. A lot of this stuff guys, it's it really makes our job not only easier, but way safer. That amp stick is gonna make my life so much easier. I'm gonna save a ton of time. It's gonna keep me away from the lines when I don't have to be. If you guys wanna check out their website, that's sensor link. This is the Troubleman's kit. We got the amp stick, volt stick, great product. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below. Consider subscribing. Work safe guys. We'll see you next time.